Breaking news. Alleged ritual dealings. Senator opens up, says I'm not afraid of investigation by IGP. Hello, my wonderful people. The news has been making rounds and has gone viral that a particular senator in Ondo State has been involving himself in what we call rituals for him to be able to get into that very position. Well, some of this news are um, allegations. Others may be true. I say may is a conditional statement. I did not say it is true. I'm not there. I did not... I don't have any, uh, you know, uh, details or whatever to prove to you that I was not there if, for instance, he committed any uh, ritual and all that. But this is the news we are rich, we, we're getting now. I believe that some of you must have um, heard the news and we are bringing the matter straight as the senator has opened up to us. Well, again, matter of rituals is your word against whoever has accused you. So the senator has, you know, I mean, this is making rounds, has gone viral and um, he needs to explain himself. He needs to let Nigerians know because everybody now don't know. You know, so when water pass Gary, uh, uh, things fall apart when the center can no longer hold. You know, so now so it just be. Well, the senator don't say, well, say, you ready to open up. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Alleged ritual dealings. Senator opens up, says, I am not afraid of investigations by IGP. The lawmaker representing Ondo South Sanitarian District at the National Assembly, Senator Nicholas Tofowumi, on Friday said he is open to investigation over the allegation of ritual dealing with some members of his constituencies. Tofowumi stated this in a statement signed by his special assistant on media and publicity, Olumide Akinrolola, while reacting to the allegation of rituals dealing alleg allegedly levied against him by an Ondo State-based lawyer, Akin Sowore. He called on the Inspector General of Police, Usman Akali, Baba to investigate the allegations against him in the petition by Showere. The senator, who said he was open to investigation, denied any ritual dealings or oath taking with members of the party in his area, noting that distractors are at work ahead of 2023 election. Tofo Wumi said the allegation was not only untrue and misleading, but condescends so low to deny and to dent his image ahead of 2023 general election because of his intention and his, and he's already intimidating those who think he has achieved too much within two years as a senator and at, at representing those in his district. The statement reads, the attention of the senator Nicholas Tofowumi has been drawn to a petition written by Ondo State-based lawyer to the Inspector General of Police, where he said the lawyer requested for the immediate arrest and prosecution of the senator on allegations of rituals dealing with some constituencies in Ondo South Sanitaria District of Ondo State. Senator Tofowumi is innocent and open for investigation by the police. But it, is unnecess but it is necessary to set the record straight for the whole world to know that politicians and distractors are at work ahead of 2023 general election. The political orchestrated watering petition should be ignored by the good people of Ondo State and unsuspecting public because the lawyer only wrote a misleading public for political gain. The speculation of allegations against the senator are mischievous, untrue, and falsely coherent to his image to dent him against the 2023 general election because of his intimidating, distinguished achievement within two years as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He explained that for the record, there is no meeting held at the residence of senator in the said dates quoted in the petition by the written by the writ, by the letter written where people were lured to take oath or swear with car radiator water to pr to prove loyalty to senator to 
The only meeting held last year at the Senate, at the residence of the Senator Nicholas Tofumemi was the People Democratic Party Senatorial meeting in Ondo South with all the political leaders in attendance and another with his former 92 aides where they were where they all gathered at his residence to observe a daily fast and prayer program for his quick recovery over his health challenge. And the senator was not the organizer, but unanimously an agreement of all his aides who prayed for his well-being after being ill for a period of time. It was led by three pastors. This could be verified from his aides, and they were records, videos, pictures of that event. However, challenged the lawyer, however, he challenged the lawyer and his sponsors to come out and back up the allegations with proof, pictorial or video evidences. But if they cannot provide this proof, the police should arrest the lawyer instead and persecute him immediately for raising such allegations against an innocent man. The public should know that the petition written in a, scar, in a card carrying member of the ruling the, 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 the public should know that the petition was written by a card-carrying member of the All Progressive Congress APC, and its utmost goal is to bring down Senator Tofo Wumi for refusing to assist him to pay his debt after going bankrupt at the hand of the money lenders in Akure. He quotes that, Why would an APC pan member panic and get worried over the affairs of PDP? How can anyone lie this much for a political position such on becoming of a good Christian? Senator Fofo Wumi is a man that carries God's grace and a good Christian who cannot suffer disgrace. His distractors have tried many times to bring him down on various social media platforms. They have failed because with whoever God promotes, nobody can demote. All the allegations are unfounded and I want the good people of Ondo State to disregard it. So this is what is happening. A senator has been accused of having done rituals here and there and all what have you. But the senator has come to say he has not done this and has given evidences why and how, I mean, potentially these things have come to be. Well, we will keep you informed as the matter unfolds. Remember, you have a voice. We are the ones to keep tabs and have what we call a system that brings about accountability on our government. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.